What time is it? 4.30 a.m. Ugh. What a rough night I'm having. I'm barely getting any sleep, and I have such a busy day with a huge ton of boring stuff at school. Now I really don't want to go to school today, but I'm sure mum will still force me to go. If only there was a way I could convince mum that I can't go to school today. Must have had dust up my nose. Anyway, back to thinking position. Wait a second. I've, I've, I've got a brilliant idea. I can pretend to have come down with an illness to trick mum that I'm not well enough to be in school. I hope it'll work. Moo ha 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 ha. <laughs> Three hours later. Are you seriously just waking up? Connor, do you know what time it is? <coughs> Connor, are you okay? No mom. I'm not feeling well today. I've been sneezing and coughing throughout the night, and I barely got any sleep. You don't even look well either. You know what? Stay at home today. Get some rest. Hopefully you'll feel much better tomorrow. Thank you, Mum. I do hope I get well soon. Me too. Let me just finish making Chloe and Calvin's breakfast, then I'll come to check up on you. Okay. See you, Connor. Yahoo. That was perfect. Mum actually thought I was unwell. This means I get to stay home today, which also means I can relax and have fun, instead of doing boring hard work in school. Wait a minute. Mum did say that she was going to check up on me. What if she checks my temperature and thinks it's okay? What if she thinks I look okay? She might think I'm lying, or decide I'm well enough to still go to school. I mustn't let that happen. Hmm, what could I do? Yes, that's it. I'll hold my breath for as long as possible to make myself lightheaded and look pale. I'll also cover myself with the duvet and hot water bottles to make myself hot and increase my temperature. O'Connor, you are a genius. Moo ha 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 ha. By Calvin, by Chloe. Have a great day at school. Time to check on Connor. I hope he's alright. You. I think that'll do. Let me just keep my fingers crossed. Oh, my word. Connor, you look awful. You're so pale. Let me check your temperature. Come closer. Your temperature is a bit warm as well. Connor, let's go to the doctor. What? No. No, 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 no. I can recover here, at home. I'm sorry, Connor, but I think this might be serious. The doctor needs to check you up. Come on, let's go. At the hospital. Or a doctor's, medical center, clinic. Oh well, who cares? Well, Connor, we're here. Now we'll just wait for the doctor to see you. Hey. You're not looking as bad as before. I really wished we didn't come here. I really wished that too, but remember the reason why we're here. It's so that you can get better. Connor Stevenson, the doctor is ready for you. Please report to patient room 4. Thank All you. right, let's go. Good day. Are you Mrs. Stevenson? Yes. Hello. Hello, I'm Dr. Drake. According to the details on my patient book, you're here because of Connor Stevenson. Yes, he's my son. So, what seems to be the matter with him? Earlier on this morning, he was coughing, sneezing, and had a tired look, especially around his eyes. He told me he barely got any sleep during the night, and had been coughing and sneezing throughout. Then. All of a sudden, he turned pale and his body felt warm. I see. 
he might have the flu, but to make things certain, myself and nurse Damien will run a checkup on him including a few tests. You can wait in the waiting area. Nurse Damien will come to inform you when we have finished and are ready with the results. Okay. See you Connor. Hello there. Hello. You're friendly. Wait a minute. You look familiar. Are you Claire Stevenson? Yes. But how come you know my... Oh my goodness. Is it? Is it? Rick Thompson. The one and only. Oh wow. I? I never thought we'll meet again. Were you involved in an accident? Well, I fell from a tree. Oh Rick. Still hyper and mischievous eh? Yeah, I guess. Says the same science geek from high school. Say, are you still into science? <laughs> well I'm not really into science as I used to be. In fact, I'm a nursery teacher. Wow, that's freaking amazing bro. <laughs> Good all, Merck. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask you. How come you're in the hospital today? It's because of my son, Connor. He's not feeling well today. Wow, you're a mother now. You have a family. Yes. I have a husband named Christopher, two sons Calvin and Connor, and a daughter, Chloe. That's wonderful. Congrats. Hey, are you in a relationship, Rick? You used to be a professional at getting the girls in high school. Nope. I've overcome it now. I'm now living as a single, Free man who makes the most out of life. Is falling from trees one of them? What? No. I can see you've started your takedowns again. I'll let you take my phone number. For keeping in touch sake. Okay. Mrs. Stevenson, the checkup and tests have finished. The results are ready. Okay. It was nice seeing you again, Rick. Bye, and don't forget, call me. <laughs> Alright, the tests and checkup were very thorough, and I'm glad to say that Connor is a very healthy young boy. He has no illness whatsoever. Also, the bags. Under his eyes was just some dirt and a little bit of paint. He didn't like the checkup at all though, he kept trying to make us not carry out the tests. Oh, I'm so happy my boy's okay. But I wonder how he recovered so quickly without any treatment. It might have been something little. Anyway, we'll be leaving now. Come on, Connor. Let's go. Goodbye. Bye. Back at home. Connor, I'm not sure if you actually were unwell this morning. How come you looked pale? Where are you being truthful? Well, air. Am I air, Mum? I. Uh huh. Guilty conscience. Connor, I want the truth. Now. The sneezes and coughs were fake and a trick. My temperature increased because I covered myself with hot water bottles in my duvet, and I turned pale because I held my breath for a very long time. I pretended to be unwell so that I can miss school today, to rest at home because I kept waking up in the night. No wonder you didn't want the tests and checkup. No wonder you recovered. So quickly. Now because of this, we had wasted precious time in the hospital. Well, not really because I met Rick for my high school. However, since you got the rest you didn't deserve. As from tomorrow you're grounded for two weeks without any toys, action figures, or comics. I'll also make sure you wash their dishes instead of Chloe. Now go upstairs to your room and lie in shame. Uh-huh, 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 uh-